Okay, um, we're going to continue our reading um, of the Psalms. Today it's Psalm 66. For the director of music, a song, a psalm. Shout for joy to God, all the earth. Sing the glory of his name. Make his praise glorious. Say to God, how awesome are your deeds. So great is your power that your enemies cringe before you. All the earth bows down to you. They sing praise to you. They sing the praises of your name. Come and see what God has done, his awesome deeds for mankind. He turned the sea into dry land. They passed through the waters on foot. Come, let us rejoice in him. He rules forever by his power. His eyes watch the nations. Let not the rebellious rise up against him. Praise our God, all peoples. Let the sound of his praise be heard. He has preserved our lives and kept our feet from slipping. For you, God, tested us. You refined us like silver. You brought us, in, us into prison and laid burdens on our backs. You let people ride over our heads. We went through fire and water. But you brought us to a place of abundance. I will come to your temple with burnt offerings and fulfill my vows to you. Vows my lips promised and my mouth spoke when I was in trouble. I will sacrifice fat animals to you and an offering of rams. I will offer bulls and goats. Come and hear all you who fear God. Let me tell you what he has done for me. I cried out to him with my mouth. His praise was on my tongue. If I had cherished sin in my heart, the Lord would not have listened. But God has surely listened and he has heard my prayer. Praise be to God who has not rejected my prayer or withheld his love from me. This is a, a great psalm um, and it's interesting because when you read some of these psalms um, they talk about a lot of the um, wondrous works that the Lord has done for Israel and sometimes we may read um, of you know in verse 6 is what is what is where I want to sort of hone in um, where it talks about one of the miraculous things that the Lord has done um, he turned the sea into dry land they passed through the waters on foot come let us rejoice in him now today i just want to sort of um, just praise god for him preserving um, israel um, and obviously sometimes we might not think um, uh, about this in the grand scheme of him preserving israel um, or praising him for that obviously we know israel are the chosen people of god um, for a specific purpose and that purpose was for the lineage and for the backstory of our wonderful saviour and we know that that story goes all the way back to Abraham so we can praise God for him preserving Israel because without Israel there is no Lord Jesus there is no um, saviour of the world we our sins will not be forgiven without um, our wonderful saviour so today I just want us to focus on God's miraculous work in him preserving Israel and it says um, and I, I love the I love the sort of the, the symmetry or the pattern because um, you see in verse 9 um, it says you know verse 8 and 9 says praise our God all peoples um, let the sound of his praise be heard he has preserved our lives and kept our feet from slipping and obviously in verse 6 it talks about Israel going through the Red Sea on dry ground there's water everywhere but they're on dry ground and their feet shall not slip because the Lord has preserved them so we can be also grateful 
that um, for us as believers, we um, God will not cause our feet to slip and we will have no reason to be ashamed because our Saviour is alive and he is true. So let us pray this morning for God preserving Israel. Thank you, Lord, um, for your wonderful um, and miraculous testimony. And we sometimes we read of these wonderful acts of you preserving Israel. We thank that it has borne fruit in our lives, that we know that our Saviour comes from their lineage um, and he is the Saviour of the world. So we praise God as all peoples, whether they are um, Israelites who now believe in Jesus or whether it's us who are Gentiles and believe in Jesus, we can praise the Lord God for preserving Israel, for the fact that our Saviour has come into the world and we live according to his truth and his power. So we thank you for the Lord Jesus. In his name we pray. Amen.